question, does anyone miss those magical white puffy cumulus clouds against a deep blue sky in exchange for an often featureless and filthy looking dirty white overstory of aircraft emitted particulate matter? New headline from IFLScience.com. Eclipse cloud study has worrying implications for attempts at climate engineering. The report states attempts to engineer the planet's climate could have the opposite effect to the one intended. New study has found that certain types of clouds disappear during solar eclipses. The finding could have implications for attempts, again, to engineer the climate. Here's the short translation of this report. Blocking direct sunlight by spraying sun-blocking particles into our skies will have consequences, one of which is the curtailing of the planet's own cloud-making processes. There's more insanity. From AP News, scientists create new idea on how to hack a warming planet, drying the upper atmosphere. From the American Association for the Advancement of Science, scientists investigate drying out the stratosphere to reduce warming. From LiveScience.com, scientists say dehydrating the stratosphere could be a plausible option to combat climate change. Groups from the U.S. National Academy of Sciences to the United Nations Environmental Program have looked at the ethics, side effects, legal complications, and benefits of geoengineering with, quote, various degrees of skepticism and cautious interest. Skepticism? Like what could possibly go wrong with completely derailing and contaminating the whole of the planet's life support systems from top to bottom? And about the, quote, cautious interest, is that the same premise on which so-called scientists have detonated over 2,400 nuclear bombs on an already dying planet? If you think the controllers would ever seek the public's permission for any insane experiments they wish to carry out, think again. Too late. Look up. This is Dane Wigington with geoengineeringwatch.org.